So another way we can interact with the shell from a C program is using the popen function. So I'm going to create some variables here, and you might recognize that this looks very similar to what we did when we read input from a file. And that's actually what we're going to do with the popen function. So we're going to set output, which is a file pointer, equal to the result of calling popen, and we'll do ls-l, just like we did with system. And we do that in read mode. So this executes the Linux command and gets the output. So we've, we're finished calling p open. Now let's check to see if we got any output. If we didn't, we're going to say p open failed to execute command. And we're going to write that to standard error. Otherwise, let's print out what's in that file. So while we're going to f get f into buffer, buffer minus one characters from the output of that command. And we're going to do that while it's not null. We'll print f just so that we know what we're doing here. In fact, let's do a counter here. The end of line in here is going to have a, a new line, so I'm not going to put one here. I could if I wanted to go through and chomp that, but I'm going to elect not to. So we're going to print the count, and we're going to print buffer. And let me start that count with one. Once I'm done with this, I want to make sure I close everything that needs to be closed. Let's see, so let me make sure these line up. And then I'll P close output. That makes sure that I've closed that resource. So let's try to run this. And you'll notice I get implicit declaration that comes from standard live. And then you'll still see implicit declaration, did you mean fopen, and so forth. Now, the reason for that is, is popen is not an actual standard C function. So now notice when I take compile with standard C, it now compiles, and if I run this, you can see that I get the output, three lines of output. This is the statement here, and it was able to compile because I told it don't use standard C. When you don't use that flag, it'll let you use non-standard extensions. Popen is a POSIX standard, and so by taking away forcing the, standard, the C standard, we allow a little bit more flexibility in what we can do. And this is just like any other Linux program. So for example, I could, if I want to, I could pipe this to the sed command and I could tell it to swap in place of June, May globally. And you can see that it swaps that in the output.